It's time for trending topics. We are in the fox2now.com complex, and this is sponsored by Compass Health Network. We have web producer Monica Ryan here. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Kim. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I know that we have a big race going on right now, but it's going to take a while to get here. Tell me about yes, that. Yes, <laughs> these kayakers, they have 85 hours to t go on the Missouri River from Kansas City all the way to St. Charles. So they started yesterday. Um, this is the world's largest river race. Um, and so it will be finished in St. Charles on Friday at 7 p.m. There's a live map showing where each racer is. The leaders are right now about near Jefferson City. Oh, wow. So they've gone pretty far pretty quickly. Um, this is the event's 17th year. It aims to support river preservation and environmental stewardship. So show them some support and check out this story on our website. We have covered this in the past, and I met uh, one of the division uh, winners he was in he won in his age group and he just looked like death warmed over and he's shaking me they had the best sense of humor and he was just like no i'm fine and just you know yeah. and and he just wanted some water and a granola bar it's they amazing. love it they love it i mean to do anything for 85 hours mm -hmm. you gotta love it right yeah. yeah yeah you better well i think that these people earned our next story right right yeah so once they finish um <laughs> the 85 hours of kayaking they definitely deserve a free french fry so today is friday even though it's wednesday it's National Friday. Fridays. Every day is Friday. <laughs> we have a list on our website of where to score these free fries. McDonald's is giving customers a free fry with no purchase necessary, but you have to claim it through their app. Okay. And then Wendy's also has started celebrating, but they're doing free fry week. So Yay. every day there's a new deal with them. Okay. Yesterday, customers had to order a salad via the app in order to get a free fry, but today's deal is easier. Any mobile order will receive a free fry, and Burger King customers can get free fries every week when they make a purchase through the Burger King app. So every week, all year long. So it's like free fry right. year at right. Burger King. Right. So I, I'm hearing app, 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 where you start to see a lot of these food holidays that before were celebrated in the past in person, you're starting to see them more on the apps. Yeah, I think that the restaurants really are pushing users to use the app, ordering ahead. That's really where things are going. All right. Yeah. And then our next story, uh, we are sending our thoughts and our prayers to another broadcast colleague. Tell me about that. Absolutely. So. Radio personality 1057 The Points, Jeff Burton. He is in hospice care right now. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in March 2021, um, and he recently got put in hospice care. So a lot of people around the St. Louis area are sending their thoughts and prayers and notes out to them. People are posting on social media, giving like warm um, memories of him. And so um, our colleague, Andy Banker, did a story last night showing the St. Louis media community's love for Burton. And of course, they had nothing but positive things to say. Yeah. Um, Burton do Burton's dog, Wheezy, was even featured on the Fox 2 Morning Poocher cast. Poocher cast, Yeah, awesome. so that was a nice little Fox 2 shout out there. Yeah. Um, the point is accepting cards and letters that will be given to Jeff and his family. And so you can find that link in our story on our website. All right. So, yeah. Well, we'll also send our thoughts and prayers to Jeff. And uh, Weezy, we're thinking about you, too, because we know you have a heavy pull making sure that Jeff feels great. Oh, yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Monica Ryan. I appreciate this. Yeah. Everybody, this has been Trending Topics. We're on the Fox2Now.complex. And this was sponsored by Compass Health Network.